The International Astronomical Union names objects in space for everyone on Earth so we know what to call things. And so you get um, asteroids that are near Earth named after mythological characters. You get uh, asteroids that are out between Mars and Jupiter in the asteroid belt uh, have a lot more flexibility. They can be named after people, after comic book characters, after other culturally significant things. Importantly, we try not to name asteroids that might come and hit the Earth after people because it would be a real bummer if your asteroid came in and wrecked civilization. Recently, the International Astronomical Union named asteroids after my colleague Wendy Caldwell and I. My asteroid is Asteroid Plesco. It was in acknowledgement of the work that Wendy and I do with the DART mission and also for our work on planetary defense. We use the supercomputers at Los Alamos to do physics simulations of how to stop asteroids and comets from hitting the Earth. I didn't know they were going to do that. I was just at ballet doing my thing and I got done with ballet. I went to check my phone in the Smith's parking lot and I got a text message congratulating me on the new asteroid with a screenshot where they had listed all of the new named small bodies. Now, this was a completely unexpected honor. I was at home when a colleague texted me and said, hey, congratulations. And I texted him back, what, what happened? <laughs> and he sent me a picture of asteroids that had been named after people and my name was on the screen. The asteroid is not a threat to Earth because the closest it will ever get to Earth is going to be a little further away than the sun. Some of the work that I've done has involved cratering on asteroid 16 Psyche, which is the largest metallic asteroid in the main belt. Now, metal asteroids are super cool because we think that they're planets that never fully formed and also give us some insight into just how much energy it takes to affect a big hunk of metal in space. Now, with the DART mission, we're looking at a rockier asteroid. Now, the purpose of that mission was a test. It was to see, can we change the orbit of a small body in space? So getting the data from that first mission gives us a proof of concept idea of, yes, we can actually do this. And we did, we succeeded admirably. We changed the orbit by a whole 33 minutes. I do these models for a team of researchers that work at the NNSA labs like I do, and also work at NASA and USGS. And we all come together to establish, okay, what would happen if an asteroid of a particular size and composition hit the Earth? And we also do periodic emergency response drills with FEMA and international disaster agencies so that we know that were something to come at us, we would be able to work together internationally to prevent an impact.